my girlfriend Rachel, she left me and I cried like a year for her. Really, I liked her. On the other side, despite her being, you know, educated and whatnot, one day she revealed to me that her that she had a, a device instead of her husband. Wait, what happened to your husband? No, I have that thing in my drawer. She said, <laughs> ha ha ha. Like, I'm your, you know, girlfriend, I know about it, and he doesn't. You know, that broke my heart. I felt so sorry for all about it. For her, for him, for the relationship, which were not existent. It hurt me so much. Well, I think they fell in love with, con with the concept. No, this has nothing to do with the, with the nationality, but just for making an example, one of so many. English both. He grew up in a... Um, boarding school. He didn't have parents. So he was like the formality itself. So certain things are okay and others ought not to be mentioned. Ought not to be talked about. And there were like pretty people if you look from the outside. They had pretty jobs if you look at it from the outside. And what was inside? I don't know. That bred some crazy children. <laughs> crazy out of their mind children because stuff would not be addressed so man it broke my heart oh my friend olivia I, i told you about olivia who was married she said she had i don't know him but she had been married to this german man and he bought her a thing so she could start and he could chime in later those it broke my heart <gasps> it broke my heart for her oh my god what an asshole Ah, and then this uh, modern American man, Ani, she got from her husband also a thing because since he liked to drink a lot, he knew, you know, alcoholics, they don't get it up. So my, very modern, he bought her a substitute. Oh my God, it breaks my heart. It breaks my heart. Not alone because of the rudeness of the act, Not alone just because the he wasn't wasn't present, but also, when, what are they supposed to do with that thing? I have no idea. No idea. On another subject, if you feel like you have to hide something from your man or your woman, I don't think you're in the right relationship. And maybe you're not in the right mind. If you feel like you have to hide something, you're definitely not doing the right thing. If you're not completely honest with yourself, you probably are not completely honest with your partner. And if you're not completely honest with your partner, you can't have a real relationship. Because trust is built upon that you're open and overt, that you share yourself, and that you're honest. There is what trust is built. When you have trust, you can open more, and he and she can open more. Or totally. And that is when actually a man and a woman come together As, as people, the whole partnership makes sense in the world of God. Yeah, and then you can also come together and have sex, of course, because then you long for it like crazy shit. You long for it like crazy shit. Magnetized, yeah. Magnetized. It's like a chem you don't even know. You can't even express that in any chemical equations. It's so strong. You have no idea. Because this is new. This is new. Irresistible, I told you, love is irresistible. That's not a choice you make, you just... That is not a choice. You're just down, man. That's what you are, down. <laughs>